Hey, this is Mr. Perez. Today we're going to be working on adding and subtracting negative numbers. This particular lecture will deal with adding negative numbers and the lecture, the next lecture will deal with subtracting negative numbers. And of course, we need our assistant that's going to help us out. And that is Charlie. So let's see what's Charlie up to. What's he doing? Hey, hey Charlie, how's it going? Pretty good. You've been keeping up with the homework, right? Yeah. Uh-huh. Remember, you don't have to do all the homework now. Oh. You could come back and do oh, it God. next semester. Oh, all right. That goes for all of you, too. Anyway, yeah. let's do um, some basic subtraction first to kind of review what we've already learned. Okay. Let's do, Charlie, 6 subtract 4. Here. What is 6 subtract 4, Charlie? 2. Very good. And here's the next question, Charlie. Listen up. What do I add to 2 to get 6? Four. Very good. Okay. Now, what we're going to go back to now is the commutative property for addition. And that says that 2 plus 4 is the same as 4 plus 2. Very good. Okay, so 2 plus 4 and 4 plus 2 both equals 6. Okay, bear with me, Charlie. We're working up to something here. Now, let's go to another subtraction problem. 8 subtract 5. Yes. 3. Okay, what is it, Charlie, you said? 3. 3. Very good. Now, what number do I add to 3 to get 8? 5. Very good. It is 5. Okay. And now, by the commutative property for addition, 3 plus 5 is the same as? 5 plus 3. Very good. 5 plus 3. Okay. One more subtraction problem, Charlie. Let's do 9 subtract 8. Okay, Charlie. What is 9 subtract 8? 1. Very good. And what number do we add to 1? to get 9. 8. Right? That is right. It is 8. Now, by the commutative property for addition, 1 plus 8 is the same as? 8 plus 1. Very good, Charlie. Okay. Now that we got that out of the way, here we go. We're moving into our, the whole purpose for this lecture. Oh, okay. Let's talk about 5 subtract 7. What is it, Charlie? Negative 2. Okay, very good. Negative 2. Now, here we go. What do I add to negative 2 to get 5? 7. Right? Yes, it is 7. Very good, Charlie. Okay. Now, look at the results, the, the stuff you've been writing down in your workbook, and look at this particular result we have right up here. Okay. Negative 2 plus 7, apply the commutative property. That is the same as 7 plus negative 2. Negative 2. Very good. And so we're seeing here, using our commutative property for addition, that negative 2 plus 7 is the same as 7 plus negative 2. Okay, so let's kind of review something here. Let's look up there, and we have 7 plus 2 equals 9. Correct? Yeah. Okay, and what did we just find out 7 plus a negative 2 is, Charlie? That's a 5. That's 5. So, Charlie... On the number line there, you notice if we start over at 7, okay, and we add 2, we get what? 9. 9, okay. Now, what happens if we add a negative 2? We get 5. We end up at 5. Very good, okay. So let's go ahead and, and write down this subtraction problem. 7 subtract 2. Okay, there it is there. Now, we notice that 7 plus a negative 2 is 5. And also, 7 subtract 2 is 5. So, Charlie, what can you say about these two equations here? I mean, go ahead and, and tell me what you're seeing with those two equations there. Well, if you add a negative 2 and negative 2 and minus 7 minus... Okay, class, let me translate ah. for Charlie. Charlie just said adding a negative 2 mm -hmm. is the same as subtracting 2. That's what I meant. Yeah, we know, Charlie. That's what you meant. Okay. So now we'll go ahead and review some problems here. Let's do 7 plus a negative 2, Charlie. Or let's have Charlie do it. Charlie, go. 7 subtract 2. Okay, 7 subtract 2, and 7 subtract 2 is 5. five. Very good, Charlie. Okay. Let's do another one. 5 plus negative 4. 5 subtract 4. Okay. Which is? 1. Very good, Charlie. Let's continue. Now, be careful with this. This is just negative 2 plus a negative 3. 
Negative 2. Okay, Charlie, does that negative 2 going to change? No. No, it doesn't. The negative 2 is not going to change. Negative 2 plus a negative 3 is simply negative 2 subtract, subtract three. 3. Very good, Charlie. And what is our result? Negative, negative five. 5. Okay, we got one more, Charlie. Negative 5 plus a negative 4. Negative 5 subtract that's 4. That's the same as negative 5 subtract 4. Right. Which gives what result? Negative 9. Negative 9. Very good, Charlie. So, now, <coughs> again, some of us are at different levels. Some of, these, some of us may find these problems a little easier. And some of you may not write out that particular middle step there. Now, I'm not requiring that you write that down on the exam. Mm -hmm. But it will be helpful for you to write it down. And then, after a while, you'll stop writing it down. But you'll end up with the same result. Okay? Now, let's take those out. And see, some of you may look at those problems and say, I don't need that middle step. No, you know, I don't. And just write out the answer. And that's what we're trying to work to. See, which, remember, we're trying to get to the big time, which is beginning algebra, right? Yeah. Okay. So with that said, do the problems in your workbook. And uh, let me just leave you with one thought. Get to work!